Now this was a gardener's garden, somebody who loved growing dahlias. But it still has similar problems of a lot of small gardens in that it's overlooked by other properties and it's got some fairly unattractive fencing. And we also had the issue here of trying to find space for a large potting shed. It was originally placed here on the left hand side of the garden but we're going to need to move the potting shed down to somewhere else and redesign this garden so that the, the client and the customer had a journey and had views and could grow their dahlias and how we could fit a lot into a small space. So I'm going to show you how height can actually help you in a small garden. I created three different options here as to where we could look to put this potting shed. But the important point is, it's the journey down the garden. We need to create views once they're in the potting shed so she can look and admire the dahlias. How do we get into the garden? Where can we walk? Do we walk through the borders by having some stepping stones? Can we leave the potting shed exactly where it is and create different routes through. So the upshot here now is we've created, we've built two tall pergolas which lift your eye line above the fence line. I've also put a trellis with a mirror on the left hand side of the fence because that will make the garden feel wider and reflect the flowers. We have a nice route through to the potting shed at the end of the garden, which will be partially hidden by the planting on the pergola. So if I just scribble in some plants now into this garden, you can begin to see how it comes together. We might need a taller plant on the left hand side because what we're trying to do is create a view down the garden through these pergolas. And then I can add some beautiful plants closer to the house and then you'll walk through the pergola down the garden past the dahlias and have a journey to the end of the garden it makes it a lovely experience so what do you think <laughs>